hello guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to show you how i use capture one to process my old photos my name is victor and i'm a professional photographer in nigeria check out my instagram at stillensvisual underscore now let's jump right into today's video i'll be showing you guys how to process my old photos in capture one if you're a photographer you should try as much as possible to shoot raw images that way you can have more advantage when editing the pictures if you shoot jpeg and uh, it's working for you let me know in the comment section but uh, i'll advise you guys to always try as much as possible to shoot well the first thing when you see capture one is to create a section all you have to do is to come to file click on new section and this box here will show it's gonna show name you just gotta name your section I'm gonna name this one capture one and here it's gonna show you where you want to save it to I prefer to save mine on my hard drive because that way I can just take my hard drive and um, use it in other co I can edit pictures in a different system or a different laptop so I just click on my hard drive you can save it anywhere you want but I prefer to save my on my hard drive so this is the name i use this is location where the image i import it's going to be saved in and this is the um just a uh, folder capture one is going to open for you i'm going to explain this also so i'm just going to click ok now and it's going to load okay now this is the f um section i just created um what i what i'll have to do next is come to import and i'm just going to import images i want i'm going to come here you're going to choose here you choose from the folder the image you want to import is right now this is the image this is the folder that the image is so i'm just going to click review for import it's going to show here so i'm just going to import all if you want, you can select them if they are too much or you want to select a particular image you can just uncheck the ones you don't want but right now i want to select these two images because i'm going to be using them for this video so i'm just going to click import all so let's wait for it to import now as you can see it's importing here it's loading after you finish importing your pictures into capture one this is what it will look like all the pictures are going to come to this side and you can just click any one you want to work with and then go to show right here capture one also autom automatically create a folder for you on your laptop so i'm just going to show you um mine is saved on my hard drive so i'm just going to look for my hard drive here and i'm going to go capture this is where i want my uh, capture files to be saved in so this is the one i just created this one capture one i'm just going to open it and you can see this capture here that's here this is where all the images these images that are here are going to be show, showed here so that's it you can easily copy this file and edit your files in other computer with this particular file here so i just want to get that off the way before we start um editing with capture one also you can see these ratings right here if let's say you import like a hundred pictures and um or your client you snap your client like uh, 50 pictures and want to make a selection um you can easily use capture one to make a selection all you have to do um just come to the pictures they like or just tell them to press one and this particular picture i clicked right now it has moved to this star all the pictures be and it will remain these two here or they can just click five and eight three this one will move to this five star like that any number you want and you can just take it back by clicking zero and i'll come here again and i'll click zero i'll come here again and i'll click zero and you can see they all move back here you can get them here you can also change them to colors just come here and click on this little box right here and change it to any color you want right now i clicked on red and this first image has moved to red like that 
you can uncheck it and check this red box and check this red box and click put it on none and everything will come back to this place right here so that's that for selection you can just experiment on so let's get started i told you my previous video where you can actually shoot with the nikon and change the feel to look as if you shot with a corner or any other camera you like so first thing i'm going to do for this image right now i shot i shot this image with a nikon d610 so i'm going to change it to a corner because i like uh, a kind of feel so i'm going to change it to this one right here and you can see the before and after this is the after and this is the before you can see the color has changed a little bit and uh, I like the after let me zoom it a bit so you can see it this is the before and this is the after so that's what is um, base characteristics so you can just choose there are a lot of options for you to choose from you can just experiment it and um, this is the one I like so this is what I use for most of my images and um, I like it so you can see how that little change just change this um, picture drastically just by changing the base characteristics the picture went from this to this so next thing I'll do for this image is come to the exposure tab but for the sake of this video I'm going to open an adjustment um, new feed adjustment layer so you can see the changes I'm making so I'm just going to open this layer so what I'll do next for this um, image I'm just going to come down to high dynamic range I'm going to bring down my highlights and I'm going to open also oh, let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to open up my shadow I feel if I do it like this it's too dark so I'm just going to open up my shadow a little bit and bring down the black like this okay I like it like this so here uh, I don't, I don't know, I'm not using curves right now uh, so I'm just going to for I'm just going to come to levels and um, bring this in to the beginning of the wave like that and I'm bring this out to the beginning of the wave like this and uh, let's see how before and after just before and after before and after you can see what I just did with the high dynamic range and levels if you feel the picture is too bright which I think this picture is okay but you can just go to the exposure and reduce the exposure increase the exposure like that let's say you have an exposed picture like this you can just come here and um, reduce it so I'm just going to bring this back to the to where it was before so that is that for that and then for the white balance also you can also change the white balance but I'm not changing the white balance for this image because I like this image like this but I just want to show you the effect of white balance you can make your your image like this I think this is good then you can bring it like this also let's see your image is like this you can just bring it this one down and then bring this one up to make uh, to get the perfect white balance just tweak it until you get what you want so I'm just gonna bring this back to default so this is where we started from this is where we are right now next thing I'll do for this image is uh, I'll copy it if you want to post on Instagram or the image is for Instagram 4x5 is the best copying um, uh, ratio for you to use use 4x5 for Instagram so I'm just going to click 4x5 and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to copy it like this I like the way it's looking right now and um, what I'm going to do next for this uh, picture is I want to post the colors on her eyes like this so I'm just going to zoom in I want to post the colors on her eyes so I'm just going to create another fade adjustment layer so you can see the effect and I'm going to come to colors and I'm going to click on uh, color editor uh, instead of I can just click on, ba on basic and click on the blues and uh, if I adjust it's going to affect only the blues only the blues only the blues you can see it's affecting only the blues just look at the blues but um, 
I don't want to I prefer to use advanced so I just use this picker uh, color picker here to pick um, the blue then uh, I'll come here I'll come here and I'll hide it and I'll hide the other places that are not selected so if I click there here it will only show where it's selected and the other part of the image will be black and white so like this I just want to work only on the blue so I'm just going to increase the saturation a bit to make it pop I'm going to show you the effects the before and after effect and I'm going to click on the yellows also and I'm going to click here it's, it's because the skin there's a some part of yellow on our skin so it's still picking from the skin so I'm just going to um reduce the smoothness and drag this place to where I know it's affecting just the eye the yellow is in the eyes like that as you can see when I walk when I drag this thing if I move this thing up it's gonna affect our, it's still gonna affect our skin as part of our skin is going to be selected so you, all you have to do is reduce the smoothness and move this um thing here to this cycle into affect just here so I'm going to uncheck here and I'm just going to move the saturation because I want to boost the color so I'm just going to increase the saturation a bit and I think um, I'm going to put some light to it the lightness a bit too so I think I like it like this so I'm just going to do the same for this color right here I'm going to click this color be careful um, then this smoothness I'm going to put it back here too because I think I can see some some of our cheek here and here they are also picking so I'm just gonna reduce this to this to the dots to this little dot right here okay I got them right now so I'm just gonna increase my saturation like this as you can see it's affecting here you can mask it out but I'm not masking it for this image so I'm just gonna reduce the saturation a bit I don't want it to affect there like that I'm just gonna uncheck so I'm going to show you the before and after of what we just did for the for the colors. See the way it was before, and see the way it is now. So I'm just going to increase it so you can see it a bit. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see it a bit. So see the way it was before, and see the way it is now, and um, see our general before and after. You can just click before and after. You're going to see the before this is the after before and after you can see this image is looking so so good right now okay now let's say you have um, similar pictures to the you have like 10 or 5 pictures that are similar to this you can like this one is similar to this you can actually copy everything you did here and paste it on the similar pictures all you have to do is click on this one click on copy and come down here and click on apply you can actually apply them uh, at once all you have to do is hold shift and click on the pictures you want to apply and open the other you go to show side by side like this and that's how you do it you can just come here and see the before of this one too before and after you can see before and after because they are similar so this is how I edit my pictures and capture one before taking them to photoshop i don't know why i brought this picture here i don't know but uh i'll do similar thing to this picture so what i did for this picture i'm just going to undo everything i did i'm just going to reset it uh, so i first of all changed this um base characteristics to a nikon because i like the feel that this nikon gave me so I'll change it like this so the other thing I did was come to this exposure tab high dynamic range I reduce the highlight I open the shadow a bit I reduce the white I drop down the black I reduce the black so I came down to levels I move this one a bit and I move this one inside a little too and also I did colors I boost the colors so I came here advanced 
color um color editor i clicked on advanced then color picker i clicked on i clicked on color picker and then i select the blues i just increase the saturation of the blues like that i did the same thing for this color here increase the saturation i did the same thing now this is too much now i i increase it a bit then same thing for the yellows why well, i was specific about the yellows because the skin color consists of yellow too so i just um reduce the smoothness and that's um thing right there so i increase the saturation a bit so like that the other thing i did was to come to crop i said if you, if you want to upload for instagram you have to crop with four by five so i crop with my four by five and um this is what i get and um with this i can just click here and um right click and um edit with adobe photoshop and to check it will take me directly to photoshop so my next video i'll be taking you to photoshop and uh, also if you haven't um if you don't have the capture one uh, software in your, in your system just uh, send me a dm on instagram and i'm gonna send you a link where you can download capture one so you can work with me uh, my instagram handle i'll put it on the screen right now but it's still lens visual underscore just send me a dm and i'll send you a link and also don't forget to like and subscribe also share with a photographer who you think this video is going to help or this video is going to be useful to them please share with them see you in my next video